Guardrail number five. This next guardrail is gonna make you roll your eyes. So let's get it out of the way now, ready? Uh. All right, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's check it out. Guardrail number five, honor your father and mother. Honor your parents? I remember hearing that as a kid and thinking, of course God would make that a rule. But this rule, this guardrail, has more to do with you than it does with your parents. This guardrail is the only guardrail with a promise. Check it out. Honor your father and mother. Then you will live a long, full life in the land the Lord your God is giving you. When God made this rule, people would work, have children, take care of their children, and continue to work until they got old. When they couldn't work anymore, they were too old, they were either sent away or they died slowly because people didn't take care of them. How awful. God didn't want that for you. So he said, honor your parents, respect, honor, and obey your parents when they're young and take care of them when they're old. When the adults started to honor and take care of their parents, then the children saw how they were supposed to treat them when their parents got older. In just one generation, God changed how old people were treated in Israel. God wants you to create a habit of honoring your parents and you'll be blessed with a long life if you do. If you aren't honoring, obeying, and respecting your parents now, will you do it when they're old and they need help? No. You'll have a habit of dishonoring them and disobeying them. God tells us to honor and respect anyone that is placed in authority or leadership above us, and that includes our parents. When we treat our parents with honor and respect, we are obeying God and honoring Him and His guardrails. When you do that, He showers you with loving kindness. Is guardrail number five loving toward God or loving toward people? Both, but it also helps you. Guardrail number five, honor your parents.